Well, here we go, you guys. If you've always wanted to see me fail, you've come to the right video. Oh, great, my butt crack is sweating again. I hope everyone out there is having a great day, and welcome back. After the most recent FAQ video I posted a couple weeks ago when somebody asked me if I could play jazz, ever since then I've been getting a bunch of comments and messages from people saying that I need to attempt some jazz now. And, uh, yeah, I do not play jazz, so this is gonna suck ass. I really don't listen to a lot of jazz either, so I had to get online, do a bunch of research, find some of the most popular jazz artists and songs, and just find some stuff to attempt. I mean, I did watch a lot of Buddy Rich videos when I was a kid, but I can't say I really ever tried to emulate it, because, you know, it's, it's Buddy Rich. I was probably just staring with my mouth open the entire time instead of trying to in actually interpret what he was doing. But I did participate in jazz band when I was in junior high school, so I'm not 100% foreign to jazz. I do know a little bit. So anyways, I have compiled a number of jazz songs here. We're gonna try a little snippet of each of these bad boys. This is gonna be bad. Why did I agree to this? <laughs> I don't want you guys to see me suck. And this video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. Oh, yeah! If you've never heard of Manscaped, they specialize in male grooming products, like this one here. This is the lawnmower, and this is designed specifically for shaving your balls. Precision engineered blades with skin-safe technology, so this is much safer for trimming in those sensitive areas. I've definitely cut my sack a few times over the years by accident, but I can't say I've ever done that with this thing. Got a nice ergonomic grip design, and it even has an LED light so you can shave in the dark. It's also waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. Hour. And the motor's pretty quiet too, especially considering 7,000 RPMs. Manscaped has the perfect tools for your family jewels. Make sure you check out their website. They also have the perfect package 3.0 kit for the lawnmower that comes with ball deodorant and ball toner with active pH control. And this stuff uh, smells pretty good. It also includes a free toiletry bag and a pair of anti-chafing boxer briefs. If you get the perfect package kit, replacement blades are sent every three months. Use the code SAMUS to get 20% off your order. They also have free international shipping and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Your balls will thank you. Oh, you're... <sighs> you guys, can I just take a sick day today instead? So I don't have to suck at jazz? I definitely feel like I'm gonna struggle a bit with the whole groove aspect of it. You know, when you're used to playing 200 miles an hour all the time and trying to sound like a machine, now I have to go back and find my inner groovy body, and that's... I feel like that's gonna be tough. Especially on the right hand that's used to just going... <laughs> now we gotta make it swing instead. Yeah? A little more sex? I'm just gonna look so awkward. It'll be great. Okay, I'll shut up now. Let's try the first one. Take 5 by Dave Br <laughs> Take 5 by Dave Brubon. Okay, that one wasn't too bad for me, but that was only the first one. Did you guys like the little change up to uh, traditional grip? Yeah. Okay, this next one isn't exactly jazz, but it definitely has jazz influence. I've actually gotten this song requested quite a few times on the live streams. It's usually one of those, you know, slow down and let's see you groove memes. The Rosanna Shuffle by Toto. And sadly, I can never actually play this one during the live stream since it's owned by Sony and Columbia. Definitely a record label you want to stay away from while you're streaming. Those big boys love to shut me down for DMCA. It's great! This beat was a little tough for me. It actually took, you know, a couple days to get it down, but let's do it. All right, this next one is a tad faster and definitely super jazzy. We've got Duke Ellington's Take the A-Train. For this one, I found a live orchestra version that's a little bit faster than the original, and uh, you guys know I like to speed things up a little bit sometimes, yeah? Let's go!
that one was super swingy. Very tasty trumpet solo as well. Mm. I next up we've got Monin by Art Blakey. What I find really interesting about this song is that the swing pattern on the ride cymbal isn't exactly a perfectly timed triplet, if that even makes sense. When the drummer's playing it, it almost sounds like he's subdividing 16th notes instead of triplets here. So if we listen closely, a triplet feeling swing will sound like this. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. And if we use 16th notes instead, we get this. Can you hear the 16th? I don't even know if this really matters, but it's little things like this that I pick up on and find very interesting to analyze. Sex. Jazz sex. So while I was researching jazz songs online, I also reached out to Mr. Zach Grooves. I figured since he's mainly a jazz drummer, he could point me in the right direction for some good tunes, and he sure did. These last three songs were recommended by him. Big shout out to Zach. Go follow him right now, or I'll sniff your cab in your sleep. So the next song is Strasbourg St. Dennis by Roy Hargrove, if I even said that correctly. This one is very tasty and definitely requires a little bit of that triplet groove to get it down. It actually took me quite a few takes to do this one, and you can definitely tell with some of these songs that, based on my body language, I am indeed stepping outside of my comfort zone. But hey, maybe this will uh, help make me a better drummer. That song is fucking groovy. I enjoyed that one a lot. Okay, the next one that Zach recommended to me is Cherokee by Clifford Brown. And I wasn't planning on doing anything super silly for this video, but this particular song actually ended up being perfect for adding a little bit of uh, metal drumming. We got one more here, and I bet a bunch of you already know what it is. God damn it, Caravan. Here we go. This one took at least 10 minutes of recording attempts before I was somewhat happy with the performance. And no, I didn't have time to learn every single hit exactly, but I sort of tried. Yeah. Let's go!
What do you guys think? I can maybe sort of getting away with playing a couple jazz techniques, but I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near good at it, but that was a lot of fun. I was really dreading doing this video, but I enjoyed myself. Even the research part, just checking out a bunch of sick jazz songs. I really like listening to some of this stuff. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. An extra huge thanks to the small percentage of you that are still here watching this part. The majority of people usually click off by now, but you. I love you. You are very special to me, and I can't tell you how much it means that you are still here, right now, in these moments of sex.